Hey there, reggae lovers. It is your host, G. Cole, and I'm coming to you with some amazing reggae month fun fact. This segment is brought to you by our amazing sponsors, Florida Power and Light, Grace Foods, Island Space Caribbean Museum, and Jamaicans.com. Now let's get into these fun facts. Let's go. Many of us have been saying a word incorrectly over the past couple of years. We just had a, a recent revelation by dancehall superstar and multi-Grammy award winning Sean Paul, right? Referring to a, a, a term that he uses um, in the song, Give Me The Light and many others. So a lot of them having a good time singing, Give Me The Light and talk about Sean DePaul, all right? A lot of people thought he was saying Sean DePaul. Turns out he's saying Sean DePaul, um, like Shiv Narayan Sean DePaul. That's what he's referring to. Shiv Narayan Shanda Paul is a Guyanese cricketer. For those people who, 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 you know, are keen to cricket, he's a Guyanese cricketer. He used to play for the West Indies. Um, ill, wicked, bad cricketer, bad batsman. And, um, and that's who he was referring to. You know, that's where Shanda Paul came from. But how it really came about, um, he revealed was that they were in a studio one time and, um, one of his friends was doing a freestyle and the friend used the phrase, yo, Shanda Paul, right? as in Sean DePaul, right? Which sounded similar to Sean DePaul's name. So that led to some laughter and some vibes, you know, studio vibes go for those people who are familiar. And um, and that's the way the name came about and then found its way into not just Give Me The Light, but many other songs. You hear the phrase, Sean DePaul said, you know what I mean? It's Sean DePaul. So big up to Shit and Ryan, Sean DePaul also. And um, know that you know when you listen to Give Me The Light and a couple of others from that Dirty Rock album, you're probably gonna look at it a little different. You know what I mean? A little different. Remember, major, major, major successful album. Um, you know, it, 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 people sing along a lot and, I, and he also mentioned that it was in an interview with a fan. The fan made mention of the term Shanda Paul and that's when he even became aware that many people were saying the word incorrectly or interpreting the word incorrectly. So, you know, he clarified that, all right? So like I said, next time you listen to Give Me The Light, you're gonna hear it in a whole different way. That hit single from Sean Paul's second studio album, Dirty Rock, not only topped the charts, but it also became one of the most popular um, dancehall and reggaeton choruses of the 21st century, all right? That cemented Sean Paul's status as one of the genre's most prolific artists. Sean Paul, big up yourself check out billboard big up yourself sean paul sean paul of course born um sean paul ryan francis henrique is that long you man yeah no star but um you know he's had a, a, a quite illustrious career right with a bunch of hits a lot of people don't know sean paul actually was a water polo player you know jamaica check it out we'll look it out all right but sean paul represented and um not only in athletics but surpassed all of that with his success as a dancehall artist, one of those artists that ripped the flag at all times and make us so, 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 so proud. All right, we're talking about hits like Get Busy and Like Glue and Temperature and a whole bunch of, man, a whole bunch of hits. So like I said, next time you hear, give me the light. Shipner and Shonda Paul, big up yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, facts, baby, facts. And there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's mind-blowing reggae facts. Courtesy of Florida Power and Light, Grace Foods, Island Space Caribbean Museum, and the Jamaicans.com. Remember also, Reggae Genealogy. The Reggae Genealogy event is just around the corner, February 10th, all right? So make sure you're registered so you can uncover even more fascinating history about Jamaican music. And also visit reggaegenealogy.org to secure your space. Stay tuned for more amazing content. And also, please hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that share, all right? Thank you.